Welcome back to Let's Play Ill Bleed. Last time we finished the toy aisle, and we are almost done with the killer department store. But there is still one more thing we have to do before we can come face to face with Cashman, and that is complete the three challenges that Marie has laid out for us, and we're going to meet her in just a moment. So yes, the department store consists of a candy aisle, food aisle, and toy aisle, apparently, and that's it. You don't need anything else, apparently, for a department store. Hello, I'm Marie. I bet you can't wait to check out my new products. But meanwhile, why not stop by my corner for a real good time? I can't wait for you to stop by and see me. We'll have lots of fun. Promise, don't be long now. I'll meet you inside. Right, so that was Marie, and you will grow to hate her as I have. She is my most annoying enemy in the game and we'll see why shortly. yet today. Oops, <laughs> don't pay any attention to me. On second thought, you really should listen carefully to what I have to say right now, as I won't repeat it. Got it? Listen up. You and I are gonna play a little game of tag. I get to tag, and you get to run. The battle begins when I tag you. You don't really think it that simple, do you? Here's the catch. I hid four different Marie cards in four different places within this room. You have to collect all of them to open the gold door. You don't have any time to waste because there are strong spiritual powers coming from all of these Marie dolls. Their power will drain you of your energy in no time. <laughs> You could even die. <laughs> Gotta be careful or boom, boom, out go the lights. Now, let's do it. The first of Marie's challenges is to navigate this maze of unsold Marie products. She's going to be chasing us through this maze much like Ban Ballo did in the home run of death. However, this maze is much larger than the underground labyrinth in that level. And the objective in this maze is to reach all four corners of it and get one of these pieces. All four pieces are required to open the door to exit the maze. Now, as she chases us through this maze, if she catches us, here she comes, but we can run right by her. If she catches us, we're, we're forced to fight her, and we can't actually run away from that battle. That can be difficult because Marie is a difficult opponent to fight. She's very fast, probably the fastest normal enemy of the game. Fortunately for me, this time around, I did not actually have to fight her in the maze. Uh, but if you want to see what she's like in battle, don't worry because we're going to be forced to fight her a little later on. However, if you can help it, you want to avoid fighting her in this part. Especially because, if you do run into her in this maze, it counts as a surprise battle. So Randy's heart rate will go up, and as you can see, he's at 203 now. He can't actually take too much more. And of course, if he was surprised, he would fall down to the ground and crawl around for a while before he was able to get up and start fighting. That's three pieces, and the route I'm taking is, I think, the most efficient route. Okay, so as you can see, she's sort of... She can't really reach us. There's an invisible obstacle there. But fortunately, we can run right by her when she goes to the right. Like that. So it's not too difficult to avoid her. Just uh, be careful as you're taking the corners, and be aware of those invisible sections that she cannot cross. That's all four pieces, now we can actually leave the maze. So this time around, it was not difficult for me to complete Marie's first challenge. 
However, the first time you do this level, this is going to be pretty difficult for you, and it is probably likely that you will die uh, when you actually fight her. Now we have to place all four cars into this hole in the wall to unlock the door. And we have to do this one at a time. Unfortunately, the game does not let us use more than one item at once. So yes, we're just going to have to place these one at a time. That's two. Fortunately, Marie cannot, I don't believe she can catch us uh, in this section up by the door. She doesn't seem to be able to come up here. At least I've never been attacked uh, from her when I was standing next to the door. So we don't have to worry about her catching up to us right now. And that's four. So the first challenge is complete. I hate to lose, but hey, you won, so that's that. I dare you to come to my next fun fill corner. Don't expect me to keep my trap shut. <laughs> Toy Corner is where we'll play hide and seek. I hide, you find me. Simple, right? But if you think I'm hiding somewhere, just survey that area with the A button. But if you scan the wrong spot, you'll be shocked, quite literally. So be careful. I'm going to hide now. Close your eyes. Don't peek. When I say ready, Open your eyes and start looking. Okay, close your eyes. Are you ready? Not yet. Are you ready? Now I'm ready. Okay, first thing, I don't know what the deal was with that voice. That voice is the same regardless of which character you're using, even if it's one of the female characters, so I don't know what that's about. But good news, there's an Amazon here. And we're going to need that because uh, we're probably going to be shocked as we go into this section. So the second challenge, Marie is hiding in one of these items. We cannot use a horror monitor to determine which one she's hiding in. But if we choose an item that she is not hiding in, it activates as a trap. The one that she is hiding in will not activate. The item that she hides in seems to be random. There have been so far three items that I've seen her hiding in. Those being the Mary stick, the refrigerator, and the sunglasses. Some of them I've never seen her in, but those three are the ones she seems to pop up mostly in. There's no clue as to which one she's actually in. This is a pure guessing game. So this time, Marie was not in the stick. So now I'm going to check the refrigerator and see if uh, that is where she is. Being that I know that she shows up in certain items more than others, it's a bit easier for me. But again, if this is your first time playing the game, you have absolutely no clue which one you're supposed to pick. So you just better have some uh, items that can take down your pulse. So we found Marie, she was in the refrigerator. Now we have to fight her. She starts out slow, but if you hit her once, she gets angry and starts moving very fast, and it's probably better to use the hatchet than the machine gun. Since she moves so fast, it is difficult to actually get a beat on her with the gun.
probably the best way of trying to fight her is standing still and swinging the hatchet while she comes at you so she'll come right into the hatchet as you swing it. If she's standing right next to you, however, you want to run away as she will most likely be able to stab you as you try to hit her with the hatchet. As I said, she is probably the fastest normal enemy in the game. She can move up, I think, faster than you can, actually. Thank you.